Okay, we all know that exercise is a key factor in maintaining a healthy lifestyle, but did you know that certain methods can target specific areas of wellness? High intensity interval training, or HIT, has taken the fitness world by storm and for good reason. While this format of exercise is exhausting, it has unique benefits for your metabolic health. Before we dive into the details around the impacts of HIT, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more content that will help you improve your metabolic health. Hey everyone, my name is Austin and believe me, I know that sticking to a workout routine is easier said than done, especially when you have a busy family and a packed schedule like myself. On those days where my time for exercise is limited, I find high intensity interval training to be both efficient and effective in helping me achieve real results, especially when it comes to optimizing my metabolic health. HIT has been defined as an exercise that alternates five second to eight minute long bursts of intense activity. During these bursts, your heart rate reaches 80 to 95% of its full capacity. Thankfully, this is followed by equal or longer periods of rest, usually performed at 40 to 50% of your maximum heart rate. The cool thing about this is that there are endless workouts and fitness routines that can be formed around these guidelines. The key to any HIIT workout is to really make the most of those short, full capacity intervals. Doing so will trigger the same metabolic pathways as continuous, moderate intensity exercise, except the process happens much faster. To understand why, let's recap how the body makes and uses energy. When your body needs a quick source of fuel, glucose is the go-to. It's a type of simple sugar easily available in your bloodstream, and it's also stored in your liver and muscles in the form of glycogen. Intense activity ramps up your body to activate an enzyme called AMP kinase. This enzyme works with special transporters to extract glucose from the blood and pull it into your muscles. If you're really getting after it and more fuel is needed, your body will tap into the glycogen it has in storage, meaning that your muscles and liver become the main source of energy during these intense exercises. Longer, low, or moderate intensity workouts are great, but HIT promotes better and faster adaptations in glycemic control and overall metabolic health. These positive adaptations are even retained for longer amounts of time. If you use a CGM, you'll probably notice that your glucose levels take a jump during vigorous exercise. This is totally normal and even healthy. Your muscles and organs need that extra fuel to keep you moving, and this energy shift leads to amazing health incentives. HIIT workouts increase the body's production of fat-burning hormones and improve endothelial function, which plays a vital role in widening blood vessels and ultimately reducing blood pressure. Research shows that just three HIIT workouts a week can improve aerobic capacity, blood pressure, and fasting glucose in people who are overweight or obese. And sticking to HIIT for longer than 12 weeks can lead to great improvements in waist circumference, body fat percentage, resting heart rate, and systolic blood pressure. Now, you might be intimidated by the words high intensity, and trust me, I get it. But what I love about HIIT is that you don't have to do it every day. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services recommends 75 minutes of vigorous aerobic activity a week. That could break down into two 35 to 40 minute workouts, three 25 minute workouts, or more sessions of even shorter workouts. It's completely up to you. To experience the benefits of HIIT, first, find out what fits best with your schedule and lifestyle. And second, take a look at the full length blog post to learn more about the ways HIIT could impact your journey towards optimal metabolic health. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.